What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an outfit challenge or outfit battle versus the store. So we got Urban Outfitters up against H&M. You saw the video I did a little bit ago. I did an H&M versus PacSun challenge. I think PacSun won that one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think PacSun won that one. But today we're putting H&M up against Urban Outfitters. Now H&M is a little bit more of a plain style and Urban Outfitters carries a little bit more of graphic tees. They have more brands and different things like that where H&M is its own brand itself. So we're gonna have to see if we can do this because it is a hundred dollar outfit challenge but with that urban outfitters is a little bit more expensive so i won't be able to get as much as i would at h m now i'm about to cut to the vlog footage of me and sophie my girlfriend we were in charleston south carolina i just got back and that's when i'm filming this clip right now you guys are going to see all the footage of us in the store picking out the office trying it on all that stuff we're gonna jump back here i got the outfits. we're gonna put them on and see which one you guys like also before we get started i have a new thing that i'm going to be doing this year that is going to be called hype miss and cheap alternative miss if that makes sense i've never done this before but next week it would be the 18th to the 24th or i might push it back one week i'm not 100 sure but i'm pretty sure it'll be 18th to the 24th i'm going to post a video every single day of the week and I've never done that before, but I want to push out some amazing content for you guys. I got my grandfather coming back. He's going to do something with my sneakers. You guys, if you've seen that video, that video did amazing. I'm going to do something with that. I'm going to be doing just different videos, like my favorite outfits that I have of all time in my closet. I'm breaking that down. Just tons of different outfits and push out that content for you guys. It's going to be a lot in a whole week span. So if you guys want to see that, leave a like on this video and get it to 10,000 likes. That's that's a lot of likes, but you guys did it on the last video with the mystery box, which is coming in the next video on Tuesday, because in that week, I'll be giving something away each day. I'll be going in the video and talking to you guys about a specific giveaway for that day, and then there'll be rules on how to enter each day of that week. So I'll be giving away seven different things, seven different days of the week. So if you guys can see that, it's going to be the craziest thing I've ever done on this channel, the most stressful thing I've ever done on this channel, but we're going to do it regardless. So 10,000 likes and let's get it. What is good, everybody? I'm trying to be hyped out here. It is freezing. I'm with Sophie. We have a hundred dollar outfit challenge. It's either going to be Urban or H&M. So we're going to go ahead and figure this out right now. I did a little poll on Instagram. And so we're going to go ahead and see which one we're going to head to right now in this freezing weather. We've got the outfits on. We'll break all that down. I'm going to put the outfit on and so is Sophie because she kind of wears the same size as me sometimes <laughs> so we're gonna see how that goes so let's go i had to ask sophie if we can come upstairs because we'll be down there for <laughs> ever a, for a nice minute she's trying to do an outfit challenge herself first part of it was this sweater very crema folks <laughs> It's at the sale rack. Oh, this is my size. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Okay, so I have to decide to switch this to maybe 200. I'm trying to get away from the speaker. Switch this to 200 because everything is either 70, 80 bucks itself. So $100 is going to be impossible. All right, I'm thinking these because they have a little bit of a flare, a little bit of a stripe, rather than going for like a regular distressed denim. So we might try these on. I think Sophie can fit these too. So. We'll see. Apparently we got haters out here. Some guys making fun of our jeans. Because we're matching right now. Distressed. People don't like that. Distressed boys. Alright Sophie, how do you feel about videoing in public? <laughs> Everyone was staring at me, holding the camera. Yeah, that was very... We were being watched store. at the end of the store just because... I don't know what happened. We were trying to do something with this outfit challenge. We're gonna have to film everything outside of the store because of that. So, I don't know, I'm trying to get better. It's not easy. We made it into store number two. How's this gonna go? We'll see, stay tuned. <laughs> what do you think about these on me? It's a little different. <laughs> what is this song? What are these clothes? Donald Duck, oh. Killing it. Gucci challenge. Hey, are you hating against the H and L? No. We're struggling today. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm not finding much drive here for an outfit because pants are very lackluster. They're all like the same. They're always the same here, so. 
I don't know how this is gonna work. All right guys, so I'm in the car again right now and I'm headed back to Atlanta actually. We were in Charleston, South Carolina and Sophie is actually gonna end up going home. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to get her in the clips with the clothes on for this particular video just because she has to go home. I got a lot of stuff to do today and I have to film the rest of this video today and I'm gonna post it today hopefully. And so I don't really have too much time to get her in the video. I'm gonna put all the clips of me with the different clothes on and whatnot still. That's all gonna be in the same video. But the ones with her, I think I'm gonna put on my snups. I'm gonna throw my snups up on the screen, put it in the description down below. You guys can go follow me on there if you want to and see those pictures so you can see who did better. But other than that, I'm just gonna go ahead and head back to Atlanta right now. And then you can see what Sophie looks like with the outfit on because they might fit her, we might not, I don't know. I did outfit challenge versus H&M and Paxson before and you guys love that video, did amazing. So now we're gonna do it with the Urban Outfitters and H&M and see who did better. There might be a pull up on the screen or something throughout the video, but now I'm gonna go back to my apartment. You guys will see me back in Atlanta filming on my couch and ending the video talking about the outfits, what I liked about it, how much it costs, and which outfit I like more. And also my hair is absolutely horrible right now. I need to fix that when I get back to the apartment ASAP. Fam, we got the outfits right here. So, $100 outfit challenge. H&M, if you didn't see the clips, I've had a little bit of issues with them lately as far as my creativity goes. So with H&M, it's a lot about essentials. And so when I'm doing an outfit challenge where it has to do with like clothes like this or against Urban Outfitters where they have like brands, graphics, different things, it's kind of harder to get that inspiration for a style because I understand the whole scope of H&M. H&M is a place that offers cheap clothes that have the look that you want, but they're just not a name brand. But with that, a lot of their designs are copied off other brands or they're just very simple and they keep around the same tune. And so for H&M, a lot of the denim was just the same distressed denim they've had in there for six months, or they have like zipper khaki pants that have some weird scrunching here that they've had for a year now. And so a lot of the different things that they have there are all the same and don't really change too much as they go. And so I could have done like a Paxson outfit challenge against this, but they did not have one where I was at and it just made more sense to do it like this because the stores are close to each other. And a lot of people do want to see different things between the two. And so Urban Outfitters versus H&M, I did get more things for this and it was cheaper. And this is only two pieces of clothes, but we're gonna have to see what they look like. The total for H&M was $71.91. I always seem to be able to go under for the H&M outfit challenge. Now that is with taxes, so that's $6 tax too much as $65 before and what we got was a pair of denim so I went with a pair of slim denim not like a skinny denim so it's a slimmer denim as you can see but I wanted to do that so I could kind of fold it up a little bit because I want to get a little bit different of a style and so it is a gray denim they had a black distress denim with slits on it I've done that before from H&M they've had like a super skinny gray denim I've done that before but I'm kind of getting a little bit more with the looser denim with a nicer fit rather than like that super skinny denim because I do have small legs and it kind of just accentuates and I know I know I need to hit legs in the gym I'm very very, very aware but the denim right here these are a slim 30 and they were 30 bucks so not too bad on denim and no I like showing you guys H&M too and I'm not saying that I don't like it at all but I like showing H&M too because if you guys want to get those essentials you can get it for that cheaper price so we did get two things now there was a long sleeve shirt went with a graphic shirt because of the nature of the other outfit I got is pretty similar as far as that goes but I'm not the biggest fan of their graphics so this was $17.99 it says New York Knights on there and then on the back it's just got I didn't even pay attention to what this exactly means but it says New York Knights I don't even know what this is about but I thought the graphic looked good with the color pop and it is really not going to be showcased too much but I want to get a long sleeve to put underneath this now this is a crew neck and this was $18 as well I just thought it looked cool it's something different it was an extra large and it says unreality on there unless I'm tripping and Sophie couldn't read that properly either this says unreality and it's in gold so I thought it was a little bit cool it looks similar to like a design that you find at essence with a nice crew neck or just like a designer brand something similar so for 18 bucks you can never really go wrong with crew necks because they're very simple and they can flow together with an outfit nicely so that was a total there 18 18 and 30 now I'm gonna cut to the clips of me wearing this outfit so you guys can get a feel of that and then we're gonna put it up against the urban outfit Now that we're back, I have not moved, but you have seen the clips because I did film them after this and we have the Urban Outfitters outfit. So the total for this didn't really meet the challenge, but before taxes was at $98.99. So we're at $99, but it was 107.70 or 90 cents with tax. 
So I couldn't really get too much around that, but we have a graphic shirt right here. The front of the shirt says Amor Fu, I think. It was on sale from $44 to $19.99. I think it's an Urban Outfitters brand shirt. I'm not 100% sure. And it's got some cool eyes down the side. I like this. You know, I'm a fan of long sleeves. I'm wearing one right now. So for 20 bucks, I think that's a pretty good deal right there. And then we have the denim. So I went with a t-shirt and denim compared to a crew neck with a shirt and denim. And this denim is pretty cool right here. So it reminds me of Amiri. You know, that track pant style, but with a little bit more flair. So it's a blue denim, which I don't have too many as far as the track denim goes. And it has the stripe down the side in orange and white. Now I like that. I think it's a little bit different. When I saw this, I actually liked these and thought maybe I could have these to keep but they were 70 bucks. So I think the fit is good. They're nice and slim and they go perfectly with my Gucci shoes, which are around that corner, I think. I just got home. And so the Gucci shoes will go, went perfect with this. Even when I was trying them on, they said they look perfect with them. Just the color block and everything, everything looks good. So it's a nice slim denim, a little bit slimmer and not as wide as those. But I like the way that these look. I think that that will look cool with the orange of the shirt and this. I think it could flow together really nicely. And you know, I'm gonna have to get your guys' opinions on which one looks better. So now we're gonna throw this one on. Let's go. both outfits against each other so we got to get a poll going there's going to be a poll right there i think if i'm correct there's gonna be a poll right there. there's a little i button you can go ahead and press that and see which one you guys think did better if you want urban outfitters or the h&m outfit so i will say there's two different things you know i feel like the denim on this is a little bit more modern and more up to date with different trends but you can make denim look good regardless i think that this has a cool flair of an outfit as a nice aesthetic you have a little bit of touch of gold you have the gray you have the different than what i typically would wear and then this one you just have that more modern flair where it's more trendy i would say with the colorful denim i think orange is a pretty big color right now and i think that's a cool combination so i want to see what you guys think down below which outfit do you think one and what companies do you guys want to see next as far as a battle goes for an outfit i can go ahead go to paxton a lot of those stores i feel like the outfits and the clothing are pretty similar to what you typically see so i want to see some stores you think i should do it for or maybe i should do it online let me know down below. I want to see what you guys think, but I like doing these stores because they're accessible to most people. Most malls have them. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below and get ready for Hype Miss. I can't wait to start that off, and I think it's going to be a very fun week, so we'll have to see how that goes. But if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out. I don't know where I'm going, I just know where I'm headed